Hi guys, welcome to May 2015, C1 question number 7. So let's start. Um, as you can see, um, the first uh, part says that we, have, we are given y equals 2 to the x and we are saying express 4 to the x in terms of y. Now in this uh, type of question what you have to do is you have to rewrite 4 to the x in terms of 2 to the x first so that later you can substitute 2 to the x with y so let me show you so part a is asking us that y is equal to 2 to the power of x and wants us to express 4 to the x in terms of y now what is the relationship between 4 to the x and 2 to the x or in other words is there something that can be done where whereby we can get 2 to the x in this expression so we know that the relationship between 4 and 2 is this so 2 to the power of 2 is 4 right so if I substitute 2 to the power of 2 for 4 here what will I get I will get 2 square to the power of x correct because 4 can be written as 2 square so that's what I got here now I can swap this I can take this 2 out and bring the x in because these are powers they are multiplying and you can swap them so what I will get is 2 to the x squared you see now we have 2 to the x in the expression of 4 to the x right so and we know that 2 to the x is given as y so we replace 2 to the x with y so what we get is y squared hence the relationship we have is y squared is equal to 4 to the x that is part number one now part number two or, or part b is saying basically hence or otherwise this hence or otherwise means there is a relationship from part a so you because you have proven this hence using that result or in general you, you want to solve this now we know that what, what what have we just proven we have proven that 4 to the x is is y right is y squared sorry and 2 to the x is already given as y therefore we need to solve this right so let's just write that equation first so in fact I'll write it here so what we have is we are given 8 to the into 4 to the power of x minus 9 into 2 to the power of x plus 1 equals 0 now for I can replace I can make a substitution here for the time being so I can have 8 into for y for 4 to the x I can write y squared which I just proved y squared and for 2 to the x I will write it as y because it's given here and for plus 1 it's just plus 1 you see now we have a quadratic equation see, let me just rewrite it here minus 9y plus 1 equals 0 this is a quadratic equation and uh, if we solve this equation for y you will get two answers because in a quadratic equation when you're solving a quadratic equation by putting it equal to zero you get two answers for the variable because it's quadratic its power is two there are two yeah so once we have those two answers we'll have like y is equal to let's say one number and then y is equal to another number that's not the end of the story because you remember we are solving this ex expression which has x so finally we will replace that y equals to some number with this expression so that we can finally get the value of x so this is called substitution uh, method so let's just solve first for y and then we'll see uh, how you find the value of x now in this as you as you know right uh, we'll try and factorize this equation first so what we need to do what we need to have is let's just use this space so we have 8 y squared right now we need to break this 9 y such that when we so we had need to break it into two numbers such that when we multiply those two numbers we get 8 times 1 which is 8 and then when we add those two numbers we will get 9 uh, minus 9 again so one obvious choice that comes to mind is minus 8 y minus y plus 1 so I, I, I have split 9 as minus 8 minus y because you know this the signs are the same they will add so 8 and 1 is 9 so you'll get minus 9 so still nothing has changed it's the same equation and as you know the minus 8 into minus 1 is plus 8 so basically 8 into 1 is satisfied 
and then minus 8 minus 1 is minus 9 so this is also satisfied so these can be our factors now if I can just uh, uh, factorize this so I'll take uh, 8 y common and I can have uh, y minus 1 and similarly if I can have minus 1 common I'll have y minus 1 so I can gather this again so I'll have 8 y minus 1 and the other, other one is y minus 1 so these are the two uh, factors so this gives me from this side I have y equals 1 over 8 because I can bring I'll put this equal to 0 and I'll bring 1 to that side and then divide by 8 so I'll get that from this side I'll simply have y equals to 1 so now these are the two values of y remember we have to find the values of x right so finally what we can do is we can bring them here and we know that the relationship between y and 2 to the x right so y is equal to 2 to the power of x that was the first thing that was given to us therefore I can have 1 over 8 is equal to 2 to the power of x and the other one is 1 equals 2 to the power of x <coughs> now there are different ways of uh, solving this right if you have a for example if there is a calculator we can simply use logarithms to find it or if there is a calculator is not allowed then we can just use logic right so uh, what what do we need to do is we need to find that value of x which gives us 1 over 8 now clearly you can see that uh, 8 is in the denominator right so we have to, x has to be a negative value right so that uh, you know you, you get a fraction because if x is a positive value so if let's say if, if x is 1 you will get 2 if x is 2 you will get 4 if x is 3 you will get 8 and so on but if x is minus 1 you will get 1 over 2 if x is minus 2 you will get 1 over 4 so that's how for this part it has to be negative value so thinking about it the minus 3 is an option right because what will happen is you will have 1 over 8 equals uh, 2 to the minus 3 right this is this will give you 1 over 8 into 1 over 8 right so on both sides you will get 1 over 8 that is that means x has to be minus 3 so from this part we get x equals minus 3 and from the other side uh, what 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 needs to be, so what should I power what should I raise 2 to the power 2 to get 1 the answer is 0 right because anything to 0 to the power of 0 is 1 so therefore 1 is given as 2 to the 0 so x equals 0 now I know this might sound a bit uh, tricky right the way to think about it and calculate it but uh, if I if you want to use a calculator you can simply simply uh, take so let, let me just also do the calculator approach right? calculator approach so what we so for the for the first one let's say 2 to the x equals 1 over 8 now you can take a log so you can do x log base 10 of 2 equals log base 10 of 1 over 8 and then x is equal to log of 1 over 8 divided by log of 2 and you should you should see that you will get minus 3 as the answer and similarly for the other part you will get your start is 2 to the x equals 1 take log on both sides x log 2 equals log 1 and it doesn't matter what base if as long as the same log you can use ln you can use log base 10 log base 2 whatever on the calculator most uh, easy one is to just take the uh, log base 10 so log of 1 is 0 you will see that x is equal to 0 divided by log 2 so the answer is 0 so there are this one of course if you have calculated it straightforward once you have this answer just put them in here take log on both sides so that you can bring the power in front and then uh, do uh, bring this to this side and divide and you will get the answer when they come straight away from the calculator so hope it was helpful and uh, let's move on to the next question thank you